Ever wonder why, despite drinking three cups of coffee in the span of three hours, you just can't stop yawning? Instead of feeling alert and awake to study, you're getting more drowsy and feeling heavy after each cup of coffee. Yep, that was me. Now let's rewind a bit. If you poured in a jug of milk and dumped in a pot of sugar every time you made a cup of coffee, that was obviously gonna happen. So then, what did I do? Well, I switched to black coffee. Now don't get me wrong here, nothing can replace the heavenly taste of all those cappuccinos and lattes, but if you're that calorie conscious student who wants to pull off a successful all-nighter, black coffee can be your ray of hope in this dark, dark world. I am here to share with you what I did while transitioning from the creamy, milky coffee world to the world of glorious tasting black coffee. But beware, for legend says, if you don't press the subscribe button down there on the right, yeah, that red button, this technique is not going to work for you. So make sure to press that subscribe button and also maybe like and share the video while you're at it. Right, so the technique is pretty simple, nothing special. I always advise people to not go cold turkey. Take it slow because that way results are guaranteed. Start by choosing what you want to cut out first. If you're using any cream, that should be the first thing to go. But if not, start with the milk. That's what I did. I started to use half the amount of milk that I originally used and then maintained that for a week and then reduced it further and further till I did not feel the need to add any milk. This was the easier part though because I still had the sugar to support the taste and hence it was very tricky to let go of the sugar. Since I was using one teaspoon of sugar originally. I started by cutting it down to 3 fourths of a teaspoon, maintained it for a couple of days, reduced it further and further till I finally did not feel the need to add any sugar at all. This isn't as much of a difficult process, but getting started is difficult. I see a lot of people getting overwhelmed by the thought of switching to black and sweetened coffee. I used to be one of them. But see now, I'm capable of enjoying the best of both worlds. I love creamy lattes and also love black coffee. And also, now having just one cup of coffee keeps me awake and not feeling full while I study. And whereas previously, each cup of coffee went up to 70 or 80 calories, now it's just zero calories. Imagine that. I think it's a win-win, unless you didn't subscribe yet. Hurry up, like, share and subscribe because you know what the legend says, right?